won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. And when you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Nothing more. Thank you, Primarch. Please, My sir, are with can Elvin. I have some more? And mine with Earth. Alright, let's go talk to our little buddy o buddy o buddy o gears. Oh! Commander, he just went offline. Well, that's not good. What do you mean, offline? I don't know, she's not responding, and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. Gears. Commander, come for some today. Hey, what? Going. Or if it's that thing that I brought on. You know, I had the information? Maybe it's not dead. Maybe it's still alive. Oh, no, no, no. The AI core should be. Uh, the thing right there. Right up there. Or is it in here? Yeah, it's in here. So. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. No fires in space. What are you talking about? I'm going in. Yeah, that's what that thing was. Edie, what are talk you to me. Doing. I'm gonna spread this fire extinguisher, cause I'm cool. Oh. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? <gasps> oh shit. Edie. Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. Oh, what the fuck a transition? Is that? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled. Thus the fire. Edie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Oh. Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Let's test it. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will oh. also want to see it. Joker's gonna get a little excited. On that, we can agree. Oh, fine, Joker. That's who we haven't talked to. We haven't talked to Joker. Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. Oh, Joker is going to have a field day with that. So how may I help you, Commander? Yeah. See you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Alright, Joker. 
We're just going to talk to Garrus, so who should be in here doing calibrations. Because calibrations, calibrations, calibrations. Are you? I know, yeah, Primark. Yeah, I'm are. seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. Garrus, didn't waste any time getting to work, I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns. And lots yes, of them. lots and lots Sovereign of Sovereign didn't guns. go down without a fight. I doubt a thousand more of his friends will be any mm -hmm. different. Still not convinced I should have left Palavin behind. There was a boy back on Earth. Couldn't have been more than six or seven. I watched him die as the Normandy escaped the attack. Somehow I'm still alive. And he's not. Being right about the Reapers has never felt much like a victory, has it? We both knew this fight would be tough. Damned if the Reapers haven't delivered. At least my government listened to me. Or pretended to. They finally gave me a task force as a token to shut me up. So, you're their expert advisor now? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Yep. And not That's how that they women work. do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. <laughs> then they put you in charge. <laughs> not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. It won't be easy. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember, a certain Turian friend of yours isn't sleeping any better, and he'd be more than happy to meet you at the bar and drink you under the table. Uh, Something else you want to talk about? Nothing more. That's all for now, Garrus. It's damn good to have you back. Wouldn't miss this fight for anything. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Oh. Our piercing the thing, did they? Oh, uh, yeah, Joker. Let's talk to Joker. I don't know there being a door over here. So, Joker. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot. So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you. Come on, Commander. Don't you trust me? Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot body, do you honestly think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here, Jack. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. Hey, I know I used to rag on Garrus for being all angry, but I'm glad he's back. There's a whole lot of crap out there, and he's a bullet between the eyes. Plus, we yeah. might need something calibrated. Boom! So many calibration jokes. What's up, Edie? Hello, Shepard. So Still getting babe? used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. How are you adjusting to the arms and legs? I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions, if I could accompany you sometime. Without stress testing, there is no way of knowing if it has serious design oversights. At the moment, it appears... adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Oh. Perhaps we should speak privately. I'll be over here, flying the ship, 
Dead ass. What's this about? Does Joker not like your new platform? No, he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? <laughs> what? Absolutely. I have no use for team members who can't think for themselves. Why are you asking about something like that? I was designed on me. by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't that's, get an answer. That's Joker. Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer in that class? question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I do not ask the crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for sure. me? Sure. If you want level-headed answers to help you fit into polite society, I'm not really the right person. I see. I will take that into consideration. <laughs> Go talk to, uh... Yes. Yeah. Oh. Talk to Edie again. Yo, Edie. Edie, what do you want to talk about? Yes, Shepard? Shepard? Yeah. Talk Carry about. on, Edie. Understood. Right. Um, if you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. Noted. Alright, so I'm gonna end it here. And we're gonna when we come back, something we're gonna we're, we're, talk to Krogan, something I don't know. But uh, thanks for watching. Remember to like the videos if it helps me out. Thanks and peace out.